Welcome back, guys, to Let's End Chrono Trigger DS. I have just entered the Azale Palace. But I haven't done anything yet because, well, I just haven't. So we're gonna go up here and trigger the cutscene in the bedroom. Which I haven't done because, even in fast forward, this cutscene is cute, so. I made it to see little Lafador. Little non emo Yanis. Because it's cute. Blah blah blah! Yeah, 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 shut up. I just wanted to hear him meow. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it's like the best in like game video game cat like ever, so. Alright, so you wanna go up here and watch Shala open the door and answer the summons to go in the Ocean Palace, but she's really not gonna go to the Ocean Palace yet because remember they just all kinda sit there in the throne room for a few minutes. Alright. Now that we've done that, do not go and power up the pendant. Because if you do that, and then trigger the next cutscene, then you'll get actually get ending 11 again and not ending 12 like we want. So, I'm gonna make my way back, which is kind of annoying because you have to go through these caves and like the sky bridges and all this other crap. And now we get to go defeat Lavos again! Whoops. What? Oh, okay. It's gonna say here. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I mean, things are starting to get interesting. This is like episode 80 for crying out loud. Like, seriously, the game hasn't been interesting until now? And they just listen. Okay. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. They're talking about guys. Well, they are teenage girls, so... Um... I, I guess I can kind of excuse it for this, but... But, but frankly, my friends and I never really did this. We, we may have talked about, you know, one cute guy or whatever, but we never, like, fawned over them like this before. So, like, ah, it's... Look, he's planking. Ha 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 ha. No. Take that friggin' stupid thing off your head. Wait, wait, wait. Pierre was the one who stood up for us at the trial, so shut up, Luca. Shut up. Yeah, that guy's a hobo. We hate him. He's a robot. Um... We're not gonna touch that one, okay? Right, tracks are cool. <sighs> not gonna touch that one either. Hey, baby. Yeah, only one problem, he's dead. What? So apparently Cyrus is a metrosexual. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but... Well, considering he's an explorer, he probably stinks just as much as the guy in the armor, so... What? <laughs> the hell? You did not just say that, Luca. I don't think I had anything wrong with that, but... Psst! He's taken by prehistoric Chuck Norris! That means back the hell off! 
Well, actually, Neanderthals weren't humans, so... Yeah. Okay, this... Alright, that's that line about walking like a duck. This is coming from the girl whose mother lost her ability to walk before we altered time. Okay? God damn, Luca, you were really, really judgmental. And that was insulting to your mother, okay? She would smack you on the head with a frying pan if she heard you say that. Alright, so at least you get... What? 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 D did that just really happen? And, and they're not going to react to the fact that Chrono was just sitting there talking to them. Not gonna say anything, Gabe? As if he's been talking the whole time and just has been a dick to the player? Really? <laughs> oh well. Oh, memory lane. You know, you might as well have just called it the fourth wall, because you kind of broke it. Actually, that should have to do the title of the episode. Yeah. But you would have already known that already. Because this is only like eight or nine minutes in the episode by now, I guess. Yes! Okay, do this right this time, woman. Extras first, you moron! Ugh. Why do I keep making the same damn mistake over and over and over again? Alright, so that is the... Well... Kind of final bonus ending, I guess, because endings one and two um, are related, and you can only get either one or two in a single playthrough. Yeah, see, we don't want to do the. Uh... Yes, yeah, see, it becomes available shortly thereafter. That's because um, you'll access ending eleven again if you go too far. So, the image kind of well sucks, but the only ending we have left is ending number two, which, like I just said, cannot be accessed in the same playthrough as an, uh, uh, number one. Which we got in the first playthrough, so... And it's actually... One and two were actually the last available in, um, a regular playthrough. Like, obviously, we, 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 we did a new game plus, and we have access games, uh, endings three through twelve. But we can't get two yet, because we have to finish the Ocean Palace disaster before, uh, endings one and two become unlocked. Well, unlockable, I guess. Um, and that is actually going to be the final technical episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS, although there will be bonus episodes after, so... However, that's going to be the last one, like, official episode. So join me next time as we decide not to bring Chrono back from the dead on Chrono Trigger DS. Latest.